Ryzen 2 is so close, I can taste it. It turns out CPUs don't really taste all that great. Luckily, there's even more news to fill those with even the highest appetites. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Ryzen 2, or the 2000 series CPUs, whatever they'll end up being called, are coming so very soon. But before I get into the story, I've noticed a good bit of confusion in the comments when it comes to AMD's next lineup of Ryzen CPUs. Specifically, between the names Ryzen 2 and Zen 2. We don't know if this year's Ryzen lineup will go by Ryzen 2 or just the Ryzen 2000 series like Ryzen 7 2700, 2700X, etc. But either way, this is Ryzen's second generation. Now hold on, hold on. I hear you typing already. This isn't to be confused with Zen 2, which is AMD's next generation microarchitecture that comes out next year. They have to differentiate these new CPUs in the naming scheme somehow though. Think of Intel's naming. Their 7th and 8th generation CPUs for that matter are essentially Skylake Plus, like this year's Ryzen 2 or 2000 series is Zen Plus. They don't have a completely new architecture, but it's still a new generation of processors. So yeah, hopefully that helped to clear up some confusion. Either way, thanks to its extremely close launch date, rumors, leaks, and even confirmations are slowly making their way to the public. Starting things off, the Japanese publication, um, alright, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, so uh, th these guys have confirmed Ryzen 2 is scheduled for an early March release date. There were earlier rumors pointing to February, and while this isn't a confirmed source, March seems more likely either way. Not only that, but they're basically confirming my next story that much more. Motherboards. <laughs> okay. There aren't too many publications I'd trust when stating confirmation without listing sources, but Video Cards is one, and they've got a very nice story at that. For one, they've confirmed the naming scheme of Ryzen 2's motherboards to be about what we expected by revealing the names of a few of ASRock's upcoming motherboards. They're actually confirming three X470 boards. The ASRock Fatality X470 Gaming K4, the ASRock Fatality X470 Professional Gaming, and the ASRock Fatality X470 Gaming ITX AC. The names are really the only details we have so far but it's pretty clear this year's launch will be mighty big, just like last year's. And not only have they confirmed Ryzen motherboards, but Intel's partners are soon to be releasing entry-level motherboards. There's a good bit here, so make sure to check out the source link in the description for the full list. The important part, in my opinion, is actually not an entry-level board. It's further proof of the upcoming Z390 that's rumored to support CPUs up to 8 cores. There's also three ASRock boards being confirmed here. The ASRock Z390 Pro 4, ASRock Z390M ITX AC, and the ASRock Z390M Pro 4. Once again, we just have names, but it's pretty clear that both Intel and AMD aren't holding back once again this year. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Ready for Ryzen's newest CPUs or just itching to see a mainstream 8-core Intel chip? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server, the place for talking all things gaming and hardware. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.